Hey everybody, it's the Bass Junkie here with another Tech Tips video. Um, sorry about the bad lighting here. I had to film this in my garage because it is 29 degrees right now. We got snow last night. Not ideal to be out on the water. Um, but, you know, I did still want to film a video for you guys and talk to you a little bit about this pretty cool feature that I found on my Hummingbird Helix graphs. And what that is, it allows you to actually connect with your phones, your smartphones. And uh, let's say, for instance, you're fishing a tournament, but you still want to, and you don't want to have your ringer on, um, but you still want to be notified that maybe someone's trying to reach you. And uh, it's a cool way to connect them. And then not only can you hear a sound, uh, and I'll show you an example of that, but you can actually get a banner that scrolls across the screen that'll uh, let you know who's calling. Uh, actually, I'll talk in further detail about that. That's actually one thing I, I'm not too happy with uh, this feature. Uh, but it does at least show um, that a call is coming in. And then um, I haven't tried text messages, so we'll try that together and see how that works. But um, let's jump on in. I'm going to show you how to connect your phone and then how it looks on your screen. So let's get into that. All right, so we are sitting here at the graph. What you'll do, and I'll exit out of here all together so you know how to get where I am. So what you'll do is you'll hit menu twice and you'll go, it'll start over here at alarms. You'll move that over to accessories. Go two down, phone, Bluetooth, connect new phone. So what it says on this screen is within phone settings, turn Bluetooth on. Keep Bluetooth settings menu open. So I am going to go into my settings on my phone all right, so it found my name there, and what you'll do is go down to the phone you want to connect, and it says connecting to my phone, and then on your smartphone, you'll hit pair. And what it's named is, uh, it's just a model of your hummingbird, so mine says Helix 10 chirp side imaging, and it says connected. So I'm going to use my wife's phone and um, call mine and see how it appears on the graph. So here it is. Um, this is my only complaint. As you can see, I well, it did actually pop up. So that's, that's better than the last time I used it. Um, as you can see right here, that's where your banner page will show up if anyone's calling you. I'm going to reject that call here. But, um, and then it'll actually show you that you canceled the call, which is kind of nice with that little symbol. Um, but last time, and that was going to be, and you can kind of tell from my intro that I had a negative to talk about on this feature, before the last month I've used it, um, that would just say unknown caller. And so you can see it started with unknown, but after the first few rings, it switched to wife. So now that they've fixed that, I mean, what I did was I just um, disconnected and reconnected, and that's just started working. So uh, I guess at this point, I don't have any negatives on it. Um, that was my only one. But as you can see, it, it makes a um, little sound, so you can tell a call is coming in. And you can keep your phone on silent, though, which is awesome so you you're not bothered uh, by the ringtone but you could still again try and um, or excuse me you can still hear if someone is trying to get a hold of you so let's see what a, a um, if even a text message pops up if it does what it looks like all right guys so I've been playing around with this a little bit and I was going to show you what the text messages look like the incoming ones and how they appear on your graph Unfortunately, I can't get that to work, and I knew that was also going to be a potential problem when you know I didn't see any come up on my graph uh, while driving around for the last month since I've had this unit. 
and um, so I went to just play around with the settings and everything and it looks like it's all set up to receive text but I'm not getting them so if anyone could comment below if you've experienced something similar that'd be great I will however show you if you go into again menu so if you hit menu twice go over to accessories go to phone Bluetooth you'll see text message alerts and you have the option of doing the banner just like what you saw from the phone call that came in so you can do banner or you can do pop-up which I would assume would be a little pop-up menu in the middle of the screen and so everything's on sound notifications can't go in there so everything is connected and ready to go it's just I'm not receiving my texts <laughs> so again if you guys could comment below uh, that'd be great all right guys so i know this one was a shorter video and i wasn't able to complete all of the aspects of this feature um, not being able to view your text messages but again i want to open up to get you guys to see if you've experienced anything different uh, maybe again i do need to disconnect and repair to get that feature to work but overall i thought this was a great ad by hummingbird and the reason being is again if i'm pre-fishing or if i'm in a tournament um, you never want to have your phone fully on silent, um, but again, you don't want to be disturbed or thrown off by um, you know ringing all day. So, uh, having the ability to just hear a very subtle sound and know that someone is calling, you can check it uh, in your notifications on um, on the graph as well if you miss it. Um, but. Uh, if I'm out and just so happen to take a day off of work um, and I have my work phone rerouted to my cell phone, again, it's nice to be able to have that notification and have it pop up show you who's calling. Uh, but for now, I'll leave it at that. Uh, please like and subscribe below and uh, check out more of my vlog videos. Back-to-back uh, -back te tech tips. I'm going to try and get one more open water bass vlog in before I have to put my baby away for the season so stay tuned for that thanks guys